Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is being brought to you as a part of the many things that Pointless creates. For our returning listeners, thank you so much for coming back. And if this is your first episode, welcome, get comfortable, and please keep an open mind. Good night, good night, gentle people. Gentle people indeed. Hi, hello. It's not gentle, it's gentle. Listen, the last time I was doing my calls, you made fun of me and told me I needed to go home. So, well, no, it was Kangle. It was the goals that you were, um, it wasn't the calls, it was the goals. (laughs) Yeah, the goals. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) So, let me look. Thanks. Anyways, um, welcome back. And things. What is this? The first episode in July. To the people that I'm To the people that that came back to listen again. You know, I gotta regreet the folks. Regreet the people them. Big up. She was saying well to you too because you wasn't here last week. Yeah, Yeah, big up the people them. Hope y'all good. Hope y'all safe. Hope y'all families well. All of that. Hope y'all are now celebrating this place's birthday yesterday. I I was gonna ask, did you do anything? Like what? Eat and go to sleep. (laughs) <laughs> anything in honor of uh i don't participate my independence is next month beloved thank you because my mother had a nerve to come message me about happy independence i was like i said you're lucky one, you my mother before my i cuss you like text. not one person in my family sent out that thing i was so perturbed like ma'am who are you talking well okay so i was kind of like it was cute because she sent she didn't say it she sent me a picture it was Minnie mouse in like fourth of july gear so i was like maybe that's why she sent it to me because it said happy fourth of july and it was like the throwback mini with like the yellow shoes and shit and i was uh. like <sighs> so i kind of felt like okay and i just legit replied hello a mom no <laughs> It's absolutely not yeah it was the man he was like oh, yeah I'm to see you. exactly but That's other than that though she didn't actually type it out though so i was like you know you get a pass but Girl, I don't... <sighs> and fireworks What's... yay I yeah fireworks. like fireworks is like a okay for me was it like... raining by you last night yep and crazy thunder as well yes okay because so, like, fireworks mixed mm-hmm. with gunshots Mixed yep, thunder that was shaking the place. The light, yeah, lightning was wild. Off. The lights chipped off and came back. <laughs> oh, yeah, shit. so mine didn't get that bad, but it was the, like the lights didn't go out, but the thunder and lightning was wild. I was like, "What, Jesus? Like what?" And then, of the course, Lord it died down. With the gas prices, so. uh, I don't even want to talk about gas prices. Gas I am like depressed. Flight <laughs> amounts, ticket cost. He is not pleased. <laughs> and neither am I. <laughs> neither am I. Like oh, okay. we are all upset because oh, inflation. Like, <laughs> yep, on your ass. Everything. Like and what? COVID was a little bit too fun. Listen, even my water that I be buying. I was texting you about it the other day. My water went up like a whole fifty cents per case, and I'm like, what's changing about the water? <laughs> it's the same water. Listen. I put into people shortage and all these things, right? Might start drinking tap water on y'all asses. Go back to Jamaica and boil that bitch like I used to and put it in the fridge. <laughs> or that. Because <laughs> there are ways and then there are ways. <sighs> I mean, granted, I buy the gallon thing more time because, like, I use my refillable thing. So the the individual bottles is not really a, a preference. So mm-hmm. watch me. You're going to come over here and be like, you have cold water in the fridge? It's boiled tap water. <laughs> I feel like I've seen this, but maybe I just thought it was ice. What? In my fridge? Yeah. If there's a bottle of water in my refrigerator, it is probably not water. It's probably rum. Gotcha. Okay. There's a Zephyr Hills gallon bottle in there that's half filled with rum punch. Okay. Okay. So maybe... <laughs> That's maybe saw. then maybe <laughs> maybe i got the game fucked up. yeah i think i've probably put like a couple like regular bottles of water in the fridge when i know you're coming over because you like cold water but other than that mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no you so don't like cold nothing mm-mm. Mm-mm. i like my liquor cold i just don't like ice in it because it waters it down so yeah yeah, yeah. that's that's where we're at with that but i'll drink some hot ran nephew i ain't got no pressure with it that is disgusting <laughs> That is disgusting. <laughs> Ew, bro. Hot Ray and Nephew. <laughs> like room temperature. I don't mean literally no, hot. <laughs> thanks. What? Is it... yeah. Or like oh, a room temperature oh beer. Your throat, <laughs> bro. What are we talking about? We ain't talking about know, foolishness. That, so I don't know what you got to say. Like, I, but, 
Okay, so over the past couple of weeks, a bunch of foolishness has happened where laws have been passed. Um, I just, you know, <laughs> what happened? Just wow. Yeah. The first one um, is the loud vehicles, mm-hmm. um, the loud music in vehicles in Florida. Florida, listen, Florida is like trying to get their shit together or get y'all out of there because. These new laws that they are passing, oh. just wow. Yeah, I don't really feel like Florida should get this. Okay. It's, the, it's the last one. Perfect. Yeah. So there's a new Florida law that will make it legal for officers to ticket drivers and dish out up to $114 in fines for playing loud music in their vehicles. Listen, me knock on wood because... I don't feel like you should be doing it in certain places. Yes, um, obviously, yes. If I'm on the highway, though, like, my music is loud. But if I'm in a residential neighborhood, like, close proximity to people them house, no, my music turned down because that's... on the highway and your windows open yeah. on the highway, that's also ghetto to me. But that's <laughs> that me. Because all the... Yeah. Like, that's not... That's ghetto as hell. Put on your AC. Especially in these temperatures, put on your AC. It's ghetto yeah. as hell. You blasting down the highway? What if their AC doesn't work? You you need to get locked up for show. Like, what you talking about? But yeah, it's, I mean, but that's, that's a, that's kind of been a law though. Like nationwide, I believe like disturbing the peace has literally been like a thing forever. Like, I don't, I'm pretty sure in the driver's handbook back way back in the ancient times when I did driver's ed, I'm pretty sure there's something in there about like disturbing the peace and like loud music in certain areas. So the fact that they're having to do this, I know y'all out there doing stupid shit. So yeah, make sure y'all turn on your music. Yeah, they be all about all different places, open playing mm-hmm. music and, and like parked up in people places playing music. Yeah, parking lot parties and shit. Like get you. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Funny you just yeah, said that because seriously, like what the hell? My last apartment, um, in the lease, it explicitly says that there is no hanging out in the parking lot. Like, there's no hanging out in the parking lot. There's no loud music in the parking lot. Like, oh, that's a thing. You're talking about yeah, yes, what, but what no, I, yeah, but it's listen, not like I used to hang But no, out. it's <laughs> you hanging out though. They mean like a group, like you said, parking lot parties, like that shit, like that, like five, ten people just hanging out in the parking lot. You know when you go into some neighborhoods, you see like fifteen people just hanging out outside. <laughs> they just you talk like about music you or just noise in general. Because noise in general I have and all of that. Been I, who are you and Kimmy and all of them? And I just want to make sure <laughs> Kimmy Kaboom. <laughs> yeah, like shit like that. Because I've definitely been over there in your your hood. Yeah, your past hood. It was okay. in a little hallway though. Like it, it wasn't like bump out <laughs> in, in the parking lot. So I just want to make sure. I, well, I really it was probably that. it was I probably after hours anyway, or though. weekend or some Public shit like decency. that and shit like that but were you like in my parking spot or like in the actual parking lot like you're out girl you talking about being in a spot that's not even supposed to be the parking spot the part across oh but see that's even better because it's not on their property fuck them <laughs> that's true and it's also not on their parking spot yeah so that's, that's the best that's yeah. the government that's that's not <laughs> definitely was in there and had a car or two was by definitely yeah. i was like well i'm not okay yeah but it wasn't nothing that nobody was like calling people on like you know what they mean when they say shit like that they be doing the absolute most i used to do that with homeboy with bj mm. bj i, I bet be, in a car I bet. be hanging music, out DJ. a little sunroof open mm-hmm. blowing yep exactly you used to <laughs> blow and be bumping yeah Listen, but, but y'all was on the side now. though. I'm y'all were on the side though. It wasn't like y'all were in the parking lot in where the parking people lot, were seeing no. you. Yeah, That's a little ghetto. If you will. yeah, <laughs> so it was ducked off. Unless you had business going down that street, you wasn't going down that street. So and I don't like that. I'm like a, I like to smoke my my stuff and vibe <laughs> in the car. Like yeah. I'm not here for all the loud loud bump bump too much. Unless yeah, we like no. on the highway, like you said, driving like. Usually when it happens, like when we going from one place to the other, or we going to a yeah. party and we pre-gaming, mm-hmm. turn up the music loud, or we just like, okay, literally, we're not talking or something. Yeah. But for the most It'll part, right. people get exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to figure out like how serious they're going to be about that as far as like the police goes, because some of the shit that our laws in Florida are like, are y'all really persecuting people for this? But it's a ticket, so... Mm-hmm. They'll probably be quicker to give those out because it's a quick write up and go. It's not like you got to arrest the people them for it. So right. I'm sure they're, they're going to be quicker to write them tickets. Like, nah, mm-hmm. um, another one of the laws that they're passing is responsible fatherhood. <laughs> um, 
In response to the decrease in father's presence in their biological children's lives, DeSantis signed a bill that works to increase child welfare. The bill will create new grant programs that increase father-child engagement as well as provide mentorship for fatherless children. These programs will be managed by the Department of Children and Families, which will work closely with local nonprofits to ensure a meaningful and effective change in a positive direction. And where are we putting these um, things? I would like to know. What locations? What towns? What? It's just the state of Florida. Yeah, all right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, That's why I'm like, could, you could, you where are they? Something and, forget, and forget the whole half of a place. Yeah, because DCF is supposed to be enforcing father-child bonding. Um, okay. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Enforcing, don't enforce I don't want to see that nigga either. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, half yeah. of them probably just like, <laughs> what? I guess if they're on child support or whatever, they, I guess, I don't, you know. Be mindful sure. of who y'all I let breed y'all and who y'all breed with. Um, that part. Another one that I thought was interesting and I was very actually grateful Child for. Who you lay with, period. Come yes. On. Forget getting married to people. Forget, yeah. Think about who the hell you laying with and if it makes sense. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't make sense, no. Shit. Yeah. But, you know, people be, you know, like YOLO and Yeah, it whatever. be real YOLO until it ain't YOLO no more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they you got other kids and stuff to worry. Now you got baby to worry about. This not even the person you really trying to be with mm-hmm. or anything like that. But now you, you having a baby. That don't make sense. I ain't talking about people who, you know what I'm saying, are uh-huh. in situations. People laying down with anybody nowadays and have a baby. They want to be like, oops. Yeah, oops. one fuck I'm breed. And then- yeah, you want to be like, oops, ain't no fucking oops. And even if there's no baby, same shit. Like you just landed, yeah. you know who you laying with? No, but okay. That's not the exactly. time for that at all. Monkey pox um, all on that ass. <laughs> Monkey pox. It's not the time. You know, yeah, the time. You know who laying with who, when, what? And every time lay with me, no I sister. think about the monkeypox. I think about that damn um. Whose song is that? Lexus that sings the um. Let those monkeys out. <laughs> that song. I don't have to. I'm gonna have to think about. Oh that. my no, goodness! No, 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 no. I'm gonna have to find the song and send it to you because wow, yeah. what a time! What a fool fool song them when they came out with back in the '90s. Nothing. But um, the third one um is Maya's Law. Um, R.I.P. Yes, the way this was worded, I was like, they must not be familiar with this because it says Maya's Law, named after a young woman killed by a maintenance worker at yeah, her apartment know. complex, works to strengthen renter safety. So the new law requires stricter background checks as well as better enforcement limitations on use of master keys. In addition, it increases notification requirements for repairs. Speaking of, <clears throat> um, last I checked, if your apartment is supposed to be doing any kind of maintenance in your apartment, they're supposed to notify you at least 24 hours before they enter the unit or at least contact you directly and say, hey, today someone's going to come out, blah, 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 and get like verbal verification from you or some kind of acknowledgement if it's less than a 24 hours. They don't, right? They, they don't do that over here. Um, what they do is like, what's it, like a few days before usually, they will like send out, like put a paper on everybody's door. Yeah, yeah. Let you know on this date this is coming. So if you mm-hmm. have an alarm system, Turn mm-hmm. it off or you pet, know, like a pet, pet or all of that. Some shit. Mm-hmm. That shit. So I, I'm, yeah. Yeah, no, but that's and, what I'm saying. Like, like at least 24 hour notice. Maintenance check like that. It's that. Usually, they're going to tell you that it's coming or we get an mm-hmm. email. No. I'm yeah. not none of that. That shit is so unsafe. These people are crazy. Everybody crazy. Yes. Like, I say that to say I left my apartment at like nine o'clock, nine fifteen the other day, came home from work. And there's a notice on my door that they're supposed to be coming to service my AC on that day. Now, I was very confused because, like, is today is today the thirtieth? Like, I'm tripping, or like mm-hmm. this note wasn't here this morning. It wasn't here last night. So y'all opened the office. I left, and then y'all came and put this on my door. At what point did y'all actually come in and service the AC? Like. And I've been trying to call them since. Can't get a hold of them. So I left them a very nice voicemail for earlier your, today. But like at your, where you live, they can come in? What do you mean? Like they can just come in and like if they had to do something. Oh. Mm-hmm. Do, yeah. Do. They have no. a key. They can come no. in. Mm-hmm. No. No. Yep. You ain't got no cameras in there either, huh? Not in, my, not in my apartment. You should but, get you a little um, set. 
But yeah, I was like, and then I was kind of like, wait, did they do it? Because I think where the AC filter is, it's behind where Leo is set up. So okay. I'm like, it kind of looked like maybe it shifted or maybe I'm looking at it too hard and it's always looked like that. But also, no. yeah, that's creepy to me. It's very, very creepy. I'm not coming like, home and shit is shifted and different shit. Like, why are you yeah. in my shit? Remember I told you that happened the other day? Yeah, like, nah, it's a yeah. no. It's a no. Yeah. The office would have heard mm-hmm. from me. Oh, no, they definitely heard from me after that shit happened. Yeah, like, no they... Like, don't come in here like, boop, boop. no, no. Mm-mm. And it, yeah. you know, I work from home, so we work from home. So exactly. And we always here. So don't you ever think. <laughs> Do no pop-ups. Um, no, yeah, absolutely don't you ever not. <laughs> nah. But, yeah. Um, I haven't had any, like... Black, the black or whites? Huh? Your office My people? Black oh, they black. They black. Oh, they okay. black. Yeah, exactly. So I'm like not as see in my last apartment they were Hispanic. So I, I'm comfortable with that. I think I've probably interviewed with maybe two complexes ever that were like you know the other folks. Mm-hmm. I was like, mm, I'm good. Yeah, they all kind of black yeah, and uh, his, or Spanish over here too. So. Yeah, I'm mm, yeah. I'm more comfortable with them. They don't care to come in your shit. <laughs> like it's too many units anyway. Honestly, but. the only time I see the Watts over here is when. They doing like they they walk in and doing like inspection. That's really I don't the think I've ever seen any like white people in my neighborhood. Actually, like I don't. I think I seen maybe one, and she mm-hmm. was walking with a little black girl, like one of the neighbors. And I was like, "Oh, you like black black men? Okay." No. But <laughs> <laughs> but like I've never like I've I'm thinking about it, I'm like I there's no white people over here like the maintenance people all black the people in the office the manager all of them black black like, black and more yeah black. and i think one of the maintenance guys is jamaican because i oh, went in the yeah. office one day yeah he yeah, said maintenance, so. <laughs> and i was like i forgot what i said i think i was on the phone and he like turned around real quick and i was like good morning <laughs> like <laughs> you turn around so quick from a in front somewhere like Uh-oh. hi i didn't say it to him i was just thinking i was just like hey hello turn on like somebody i talked to you okay. but <laughs> rude no i just thought it i didn't say it um so this last one um well no because i kind of the are you familiar with um what you call it what the hell is it called no nah, my mind isn't working world, maybe not if I wow know. Definitely this my mind is just really like not. forget I promise <laughs> i'm tired there's too much going on all the time yeah gotta back up definitely i really can't think of the name was it bruce beach or something like that the, the, what, 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 in california what? is that what it was called bruce beach yeah it was a um in california there was a property owned by a black family on the beach oh oh, yeah in la and i guess they took it from them (laughs) but there's a vote recently that returns the land back to the family okay Oh, they were ran out of Manhattan Beach. That's what it was. The family was run out of Manhattan Beach. Wow. Almost a century ago. I don't know. Probably it's a century ago. So probably because they was black. I didn't do a oh, whole bunch of you, research you on it. You say I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. Probably a century ago. Yeah. It was almost like a century ago. Run out of somewhere today because they black. I know, but I'm just oh, saying it was right, mu- girl, probably was much more ago? common. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, shit, Grandpa. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, so I don't know. I just, the whole idea of them like giving it back, I personally, I'm just like, go suck yourself. Like, Mm -hmm. thanks, but go suck yourself. Like, really? Um, but they're like, it's like, (laughs) get real ignorant. I mean, I want it again. I feel you on. Yeah. Exactly. But it's like, you know, it's the first time that, you know, a black family has been given, like, land has been returned. And I'm just like, hmm. like, how do y'all write, st- like, these articles? Like, do y'all sit down in y'all writer's room and, like, the words that you choose when you think about these things? Like, do y'all feel comfortable with that? Like, uh, yeah. <sighs> Disgusting. Do they okay. care? No. It's clickbait at the end of the day. Like, oh shit, here's some that, new good news. Saying. Yeah, it's gonna help sell. You talking about clickbait? You saw that they try to say R. Kelly um, escaped from jail. I did not see that. What on some prison break shit? 
I did not see that. When when did this I'm happen? Fucking, one of them what? fucking ghetto ass media outlets that be lying on people all the time, talking about he escaped, like legit on some prison break shit. Like I'm like, that was terrible. I'm like, there's not enough happening. <laughs> Listen, freaking, I saw it the other day where he got 30 years or some dumb shit like that. I was like, really? Dumb That's shit all y'all gave he him? He needs more? Or? Yes. But oh, then okay. again, he's like. Was just like, he need more? Because mm-hmm. he can definitely, yeah, he could have slid another 30 on top of that bitch. Yeah, because the amount of people went. But, you know, nasty. the ass. law only goes after what's been presented and the people that will get paid yeah, off. Yeah, there's been a lot such. of shit presented. They ain't going for it at all. Yeah. Like the same somebody, shit. you know, somebody. What about you? Um, I, Last week, I don't know. You didn't. Well, obviously not. No, the July 4th shit. I'm sorry. I had a brain fart. Mm-hmm. So much going on. Um, The shooting at the parade. I heard something about that vaguely today while I was at work. What happened with that? Like seven people. Oh, shit. And probably, I don't know if they're in counting, but because a lot were injured, so it might be in counting. But when I celebrate July 4th, no shade to y'all. I don't mean it like that. Y'all know All shade, all tea, all shade. Yikes. (laughs) Listen, I decided last night they started doing um, fireworks. I was like, let me go on my balcony to go look at fireworks, right? I'm about to get up to go on my balcony, and all I hear is do, do. I said, oh, nope, sit my behind. You know what what the difference is. Sit your ass down. (laughs) I was like, I don't need to see fireworks. I've seen them a thousand times. I'm fine. You know exactly what that is. (laughs) And it sounded close to, like, I feel like it was my neighbors across the way (laughs) because it sounded like it was right here. I was like, Damn, imagine I go fast and go sit on my patio. Next thing you know, I get shot because I want to go look at five words. Stop, stop, stop. You know, I'm going to sit on. No, man. I'm going to learn a long time. <laughs> so I'm not going to go look at shit. I'm in the game. <laughs> Stop not interested I that's can't, who I can't believe that shit's somebody was honestly. arguing in my apartment complex the other day and i heard it i said mm, triggered not going to look <laughs> nah dead ass all niggas it was look out the fucking window bro. like <laughs> my friend had to go smoke a black and mild you know we wanted to go stretch our legs <laughs> something like what the fuck Oh, they sent so many letters. They were trying to, yo, they was really trying to get us to go in court and testify. We were like, oh, oh no. my gosh. Like, a we part of me kind of feels that. bad because I'm like, I wonder what happened to the guy because I know he was definitely in the right. Tell the story. Tell the story. Oh my God. We didn't talk about this on here before. I feel like we talked about this. I don't know. But just in case, but just in case for y'all who don't listen to episodes in the order that they are put out, <laughs> um, um, freaking, we we're minding our business one day in the apartment when we lived together mm-hmm. and. We hear somebody else say, bumble clap, my let me, let me, and I'm just like, what? Wait, Jamaicans, what's happening? I, I hear my people. Right. So we go run, go look through the window now, and, no, no, no. <laughs> and we see this guy, like, jumping out of the passenger side of, like, a moving car. Like, literally jumping out while the car is moving. Like, it's coming to a stop, but he is like, fuck this, I'm getting out. And I'm like, what the fuck? So we're looking, and the car stops, and a pregnant lady walks out the car and, like, goes around to the passenger side and is trying to, like, force him to get back in the car. And he's like, no, let me go. Like, I want to go, basically. Like, I'm good. And she's just like, rah, 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 whatever, doing the most, whatever, American. Da-da-da-da. And I was just like damn brethren what happened so he start walking now and she's like telling him get back in the car and he's like no like look at my hand da, 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 da. Like, he's like yep. fanning her off and like trying to like push her away without actually physically pushing her he's trying to like just yeah, get away from her, her. and he was her. listen in better than me you know <laughs> look at me like kick our blood clot down but no she's pregnant i was really proud of him in that moment because he was very really trying yeah. really hard not to she was girl. in his face like in his face and he was just like yo like move let me get away and so they walked trying to like back her up he yes her, like, he was just trying to back her up and, mm-hmm. like, and she just keep coming keep coming keep coming so he's like walking away now so she leave the car where it's at walk like follow him down to the corner by this time we're like shit we can't see them so we decided we had to go outside for a smoke break <laughs> so right <laughs> Right, nosy asses. Right. So we're out there, and it's the same thing. Like he's trying to get away. She's like, now mind you, it's a slim man, right? You know, Maga man love him fatty. So you know, yeah. So she's definitely using her weight to her power, and she's like hauling, pulling the poor man. Like he's like, like, and I could see. Listen, and I could see in his demeanor and everything that he really wanted to just be like, bitch, one good time. (laughs) But it was just like, first of all, that might have been his child that he she was carrying. Who knows? either way like 
yo, back up. At the end of you the day, I'm a black man in America. Babies. Exactly. I'm a black man in carrying What? Babies. Listen, Empress, down. Like, you yeah, are listen, fragile. Listen, listen. You are fragile. Nothing can breathe upon you. Like, like nothing. Like, legit nothing. Nothing. Not even like a breeze blow can't yeah, touch you. Like. Breeze blow upon you. <laughs> so great. So, <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, he's, like, trying everything in his part, like, to get away from her without using force, like, directed at her. And she's just keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. So, he's, like, backing up. And I don't know, at some point, I guess, like... Um, she scratched up his arm or something arm. like that and mm-hmm. like I think she had a cut or something like that because the officers came I guess one of the neighbors heard mm-hmm. and called the police it's probably homeboy who? in the front that was on the other side of us what's his name? oh um shit what was his homeboy name? with the truck yeah what's and his name? Had- with with the wifi right <laughs> Damn, what's his name? Alberto? Umberto? Some shit like Some that. Some shit like that. Alfonso? I'm not going to remember that shit till I'm done talking. But yeah. Mm-hmm. So somebody called the police. And of course, the policeman that came and talked to us was a Caribbean man. Right. And he talking about some, so what happened? You tell me what happened? And I'm just like, <laughs> uh, I mean, he was trying to get away from her. That's what we she were wouldn't let him go. Just so he don't, because they, yeah. went and you can tell they pulled up with yeah. the mindset like, He's the aggressor. He's the problem. We need to get him out of here. Like legit trying to get ready to like arrest this man and yeah. get the fuck out of here. We were like, look. He did end up getting arrested, arrested. though. They escorted him mm-hmm. off. And I was just like, I felt so bad. Cause I was yeah, like, bro. Like, we saw basically this from the beginning. He has been trying to get away from her and mm-hmm. she has been antagonizing him and situation. yes bitch after that like for they months, was like oh do you want to come testify they were oh. trying to, to come to court it was not i'm talking about letters like time after time after time you're fucking out of door <laughs> after we come from work <laughs> bitch you think in I the mailbox coming after i come home from work i'm not going <laughs> seriously after i come leave work i get to work at what six o'clock in the morning to come back from no man oh no all yeah, right exactly that's when they was doing two job niggas yo you remember Mm-mm. from six to three and then the next job until like midnight sometime no yeah no i wasn't no. trying to do none of that like and even hey, still right off the garbage goodbye <laughs> we ain't never seen it it never happened <laughs> I shred half of them things. I send them to my mother house to get shredded with the rest of the paperwork. No, thank you. I am okay. But um, yeah, don't be but not, yeah, don't so. be ducking though if they. Like, yeah, no, nah, y'all ducking. don't do that. Some situations y'all really need to, you know. I had to do jury duty. I think was it twice? Oh, once, once I had to, you know, because I became a citizen and registered to vote. They got me at the desk when I was I, doing my citizenship. Oh, they did got you me do it or. Um, I guess I am a registered voter. Because I had that. Oh one. no! Listen, so I spent literally the whole day in these people courthouse, right? Mm-hmm. Um, well, in the waiting the room. Of it is so stupid. Like, just sit on, just hold it, watching some foolishness on TV, and then they f- like... they finally call me. <laughs> And um, I go back there and it's like this long wait. Like we're about to go in the courtroom and then they stopped us and then they sent us back. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I never done this before. So I'm like, what the fuck? Whatever. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we go back to sit down again. And then they call us back like probably like an hour later. And it's the judge. And he's like, okay, I just felt like, you know, I didn't want to just dismiss y'all and not tell y'all what was going on. But the case got um thrown out and da da da. And I was just like. Y'all could have just sent me home. I wouldn't have cared why. <laughs> like, no, I'm cool with it because I get you the day off of work real quick. Yeah. Like, and, it's, but yeah. and it's a paid day. Yeah. No problem. They sure did. But I definitely went like once, was in the courtroom. I'm sitting there. I'm like, oh, I don't know these motherfuckers. I'm like, I don't know nothing about this shit. And I, you know what I mean? I'm like, what yeah. The all these stupid ass people. Okay, sitting, they picking mm-hmm. people here and there. I'm like, wow, time. Woo. Two hours. Yeah. It had to be like two, three hours. I'm sitting there. I was just like, wow. I wish that was very, all. I was like, this is very crazy. And then he was like, you're free to go. Sure I am. Gotta go. <laughs> I think I had to get there like at eight. And I think I didn't get out till like three or something like that. No, man. Like literally the whole Dude. day. Sitting in the waiting area. Did some chips? No. <laughs> Girl, hell. You I think they had like, I they think they said they had like a <laughs> I Damn. think they said that there was like a cafeteria we could have went to. Like they had like a little recess or something, but it was like a the twenty minute recess. Cafeteria. Exactly. I'm, okay. I'm not doing. I'm good, but um, well, giving corrections too close to jail. Yeah. I'm thinking more. And it's li- the jail so. is literally right across the street. Yeah, right. no. So you see my point? They all yeah. same little. So they're running food from the underground tunnel from one. <laughs> I'm good. 
<laughs> I'm cool. Yeah, no. I mean, and it's funny because like when I was in high school, I did I studied law or whatever, and we had um okay, big dog. Oh hush. <laughs> we went to some field trip. And they were talking about, like, you know, the process of, like, jury selection and da 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 And I was, like, I was interested in, like, that portion of it. Like, the questions that they would ask you before they selected the jury for, like, whatever. Mm. I was, like, low-key kind of eager for that part. But, like, actually sitting, I was just, like, mm, I don't know if I want to actually participate in the case. Because God knows how long it's going to take. And then you get chosen. And then now you're on the trial for, like, however months. And I don't have faith. I think my thing with it is don't put me... There's a lot of things with this country I don't want nothing to do with. Yes. Anything because it does not, it serves who it serves. I don't yes. care. I don't know these people. I don't know the situation. I don't mm-hmm. know all the facts. I'm never going to know all of the facts. Exactly. So I really don't want to sit here and have to be like, oh, yeah, yes or no. You should go. I don't mm-hmm. want to. I don't want to be. Yeah, I don't want to be nothing. responsible for that. There's people for ages that y'all have sent to prison that haven't done crimes and mm-hmm. shit like that. And I'm good. I don't want no, but y'all had girl. the quote unquote evidence to prove none that they it. were guilty. The system, no and system, then none of it, government. 20, like 30 years later, shit, hey, I was like, bitch for the government. I was about to ask you a smoking dick. Like, <laughs> I'm not <laughs> the United States government. <laughs> Listen, there's certain uh, things that I, I would do like data entry and like stuff like that. I'd be like, okay, whatever. But like, I don't want to do nothing with corrections. I don't want to do one foot out this bitch. One foot out, and you will be talking about the U.S. government. We all gonna be running for the hills very soon. Let me shut up because the last time I did this, the COVID shit. Okay. Oh my god! Because we ain't got time. Is this this wood? wood. (laughs) It's wood or food? Because girl, there we go. (laughs) But I can't. I can't bother. Mm. I can't. This country just, you know, depressing. every other day it's something. Absolutely depressing. But it, it's just very like much right so. Now, every, first of all, right now in general, you know how back at one point you could be like, oh, I want to leave America and I want to go here. But I just feel like everywhere right now, low key as a collective is on fire. Because mm-hmm. like if you just stay like, if you stay up on like other countries, like news and shit, everything is shit. <laughs> I think it. I think it's one of those first times that in a long time that we all went through the same thing all at the same time. Mm-hmm. So we're freaking out. They freaking out. They freaking out. Bitch, you listen. You go to Australia. The kangaroos is freaking out. Everybody freaking oh out. Oh my god! Out. You and these out. kangaroos. You know I like kangaroos. You know that. <laughs> you know that. Yeah, but yeah, mm-mm. but still, I still get the fuck. Out. I don't know. Somebody get. Somebody gotta get this coin and get an island, honey, and make it happen. I can't do collectively. It's gonna just, be me, you know. Hell. Run, yeah, I'm manifesting that the yep. money to to get this private island, and me and my people get the hell on. Just be like, Psst, it's been yeah, real. I'm not. Build up a tribe, Anguan. <laughs> yeah. Um, that thing I sent you earlier about the 100 mile radius of the border. What was it? Yes. Um. So technically, okay. Let me just read it. Um. So. There's a post that says, like, the Supreme Court ruled that border agents can enter anyone's home within a 100-mile radius of the border without a warrant or any reason, and federal courts cannot do anything about it. Two out of three Americans live within this radius. So if you're using your imagination, it's a 100-mile radius of the border from anywhere. So basically the whole state of Florida, because... That's crazy. Yeah. And then, like... (laughs) Imagine them running through Florida, though. (laughs) How the Florida gone? Yeah, more than half but what you call it Go and then north. like you know all the northern states <laughs> basically every every state that isn't like the midwest or like you know New in York the middle basically done. yeah dub like listen jobs open yeah apartments free listen <laughs> clear everybody out yeah. yeah but it's crazy when i looked at the map thing that you showed me i'm like uh when you really realize what it looks like on a on yeah. the picture, it's kind of like, yo. I think, but, some of, I think some of Connecticut ass got chopped up in it too. Shit, yeah, because it's Put within. Put in my pee yeah. because I saw. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know about some of y'all, but yeah, some of y'all, hmm, y'all ducking and dodging. But shout out to you, ain't listen. Hmm. Get it how you live, mm-hmm. but um, a part of me is kind of like you know. Legally, they can't do that because, you know, your Fourth Am- 14th Amendment rights to privacy and whatever. But 
we all know that amendments weren't written for the colored folks. So, yeah. It's a great America, as I say. The mm. states. That, that one is one. The states united my ass. Yeah. <laughs> the states. That part. Because if they I'm were. I'm just going to call it like how other people call it. Foreign? <laughs> yeah, people say foreign. But, like, in Canada, they call it the states. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, yeah, uh, the like states. Mm, yeah, you damn right. Ain't no, you nothing. I just nothing say U.S. Places. if anything. Yeah, but Mm-mm. that shit blew me because I was like, "Excuse me, what?" And I'm of course, I had to country. go. Yeah, them the people. Jamaicans there. love that one. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Well, tell the people them say if them no straight massa. <laughs> I feel like no two papers. Cause it's time, y'all better figure something out. It's gonna get real sticky in a minute. Tell them when you see all this shit. You see all these shits dropping mm-hmm. all at the same time. So much laws, so much this. They changing all of this. They taking this out. They fixing this up. Shit, about to be real. Yeah, very. Mm-hmm. I keep talking about. I need to go do this damn passport. <laughs> I still ain't renew my Jamaican passport. I just and I need to put in for my dual citizenship. Yes. I found the form the other day. Real acts, real simple, actually. Okay. You just need like your parents' information and birthplace or whatever. Yeah, I'm like, essentially. Girl. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. but if I gotta send y'all my birth certificate, y'all gonna see all that. Yeah, ain't no lie, no lies told. <laughs> Let me get that because I'm like, have to skate. The way how I know some crooked people and how they done sent letters that weren't sent from where they were sent from. And <laughs> oh my goodness. Because people had to get papers sent from Jamaica and nobody never listened. So they might have, you know, send mm. something done, forget something sent. But I was like, okay. listen, whatever you got to do, yeah. whatever you have to do, because this country is way more corrupt than two little mail that are sent back and forth. Legit. So I might see if they, I'm going to do it and see what I can do. Because yeah. when I'm down there, you know, few, All facts. just in case I got to do anything. Yeah, get it done okay. there while you're there. Yeah. Yeah, I need yeah. that. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. 22, let me see, 2022 to not shut up with me having my, without me having my dual citizenship. Man, or I at least have it submitted. It. Yeah, I ain't going, I'm not going into 23 without it. No, sir. Yeah, because. I just feel like that's something that's definitely a, whoo. Yes, yeah, so we can all it. go in a resident line now. Hey. <laughs> Girl, listen. At I Airport, love that girl, resident it line. It better. It does. That line for the visitor line be so long. <laughs> girl, listen, but my thing is either one or the two. Either nothing to declare or declare. Oh, well, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when you're first walking in the end. Oh, but you, you know, first, people yeah, be, when you first come yeah, out the plane. The yes. But I mean, it's different now because they got them damn computer screens. Oh, they have them in there too. The I haven't been to Jamaica since. You haven't been since they had have the, they damn, the damn machines? You don't I'm trying to think you if they had it deal, in Jamaica. You barely I know I've done it here. anymore. You go to the machine, take your little picture, put where you going in the system and all that. I think I did. Print it out. It has your face. I did like that when I went to St. Vincent, I think it was. So face in black and white. You have the little ticket. You go to the arm, boom, and you straight through to go get your bags. Wow, technology. That's in Jamaica different. Yeah, I think that was like that in St. Vincent when I oh, went. Jamaica was criminal at one point, girl. To get through the airport was like an experience. You were traveling the whole Listen. day. Oh, that was not <laughs> What an experience. And then okay. you have to go treat people with teeth and self. Mm-hmm. I told you about the time I tried to bring down. Um... <laughs> no, it right I know. Now. It may not be the time I get to country. The fuck? But... <laughs> <laughs> like, and I always put like my dad's address in Portland when I'm going because mm-hmm. I know if I put Kingston address, there's going to be more problems for me. So even if I'm going to Kingston, I put the Portland address because Things to me, I got country. Don't worry about what I'm doing in town in people them condo or whatever the hell. Don't worry mm-hmm. about that. <laughs> but I had brought, I think I told you, I had brought down um a camera, a lens for Ricky one time. And I was like, let me bring my camera with me so it don't look weird that I'm just bringing a lens by itself. This man going to look at me and ask me how much my camera is worth. I said, excuse me, $200. <laughs> like, oh what? Oh, my God. Like, like I was going down, I had to bring down an Xbox mm-mm. and controller and the headset, mm-mm. whatever. So I bring this down now, and I get to the um when it's time to come out. You know, well, we need to search your back. Whatever they go in the back, search mm-hmm. This is how much is this? Da, 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 da. I was like, it's like four hundred dollars. 
okay, this is yours. Yes. Oh, you're bringing it. Yes, I'm bringing it to put in the house to play. Yes. Yes. Yeah, because I'm on vacation. Like, what? if you don't get the hell up. And I was like, let's put like it's something. <laughs> Like I get so yo, I get into it with them all the because time they because annoying. they think they could dig up your shit yeah. and not put anything back. Listen, Come touch up, touch up, put it back. I was like, put it back. Yeah. They just ransack your shit and just leave it and tell you I'm like, like put okay, it back. put it back how you <laughs> saw it. Yeah, Some you're rude. wicked, bro. When they look people panty out type of stuff. Yes, just out. out. <laughs> no, put it back. You crazy little. That's I why, can't... honestly, I pack my underwear in one separate spot in the um mm. suitcase just because of that. Because like I don't in need y'all feeling up my drawers. Spot, yes, I call it? yes, because I don't I have time for y'all. Package, right? That's I don't have time. Pocket, yeah, mm-hmm. my then, socks then, and then everything. Enough, enough twist is something yes. you can have at night. Like your hand is in my drawers That's right now. That's nasty. Like, when last you, you wash your hands, gross, What's in there? bro. What's in there? Nothing. <laughs> Didn't I just come off the plane? But then I can accidentally sneak in fish because y'all not checking the outside pocket. Like <laughs> annoying. I be so over them. Like you get a little bit of power and you want to act like. I'm sorry, Jamaica silly for that part because the simple fact is that even if I had something, I could sneak out with it on my person because there's no body check. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. Nobody. The closest you get to a body check is a dog. If no, that. they're just being people think trying to shop. Bitch, exactly. That's, what you that's exactly what it is. They're looking for things my for themselves and the their family. You're not going shopping here, so you can go home with my mm-hmm. things. <laughs> them and customs, like when you're shipping stuff down. Oh no, they're my sweet teeth, Mary. They're my teeth. Like the cost, first of all. I am okay. So my job, right? Like when you shop online with my job, like we ship internationally, all of that. And the customer, when they receive the package in their country, have to worry about the customs and duty fees. Listen mm-hmm. to me, Nigeria and them other African countries, bruh, they are waxing. Okay. Like I really want to know who was worse out of Jamaica and them. Because some of the prices the I've heard, the same I'm like, yeah, <laughs> different places. I was like, so one of the clients was like, oh, I'm ordering this. Can you um not send the receipt? I'm like, no, because legally, if something happens in, you know, FedEx or whoever we ship mm-hmm. with, they have to have proof of the value. If we're saying, hey, our invoice says that it costs this much. And when we declare it on like the um, customs form, when we're shipping it internationally, we have to put the value of it. They're like, oh, don't put the value. I'm like, so if the something get lost, guess what? FedEx is only going to pay us $500 since that's how much you want to put for the taxes and fees. Yeah. Buddy, if you're buying a freaking Audemars, like I'm pretty sure you want that insured for the exactly. full amount, not exactly. for $500, stupid. Like, exactly. You know what I don't like? Hmm. I like, let me tell you, we like to watch these little airport shows, right? We what? How to what? Get a Smuggler and shit. Oh. Love How okay. to Get a Smuggler. It's on Hulu. And you be catching people trying to like go, you know how they go to different countries and shop and try to bring mm-hmm. back stuff because they know you can get it for the low in other places. Man, this girl came back, I think it was like a, I don't know, Louis bag or Gucci bag or something like that. Mm-hmm. And it was like, oh, you know, did you just buy this? Because you ain't declare it. She was like, no, I didn't just buy it. I've had this. This bitch had the damn receipt with her. And it was like, so I thought you said. Stupid. You didn't just... Stupid. <laughs> I was like, but that would have been. All... Listen, I would have had all types of shit in the bag and it would have been on my shoulder. Stupid. I was like, it's good. Yeah, make our PM. It's good. Because why you have the receipt there? Y'all better throw that in the garbage. Tear oh. off the part that have your card information and your name and throw the rest of that, that in the garbage. Pull that shit up into the itty bitty yes. square and tight stick it in our socks. Oh, I'm tight. Telling y'all, hold on. Oh. <laughs> How to catch a smuggler for real. <laughs> wow. Y'all don't listen to me, right? Okay, don't. Oh, shit. <laughs> the people that might need to know though we've been giving nah, traveling tips to, for nah, years nah, nah, everybody need to have some y'all been carrying on with fuckery though so everybody yeah no expand your mind mm-hmm. if you want to do stupid shit figure out how to do it properly yeah, <laughs> don't like, you gotta be smart yeah. with your crime that part that part because and then also you have to be mindful of where like anyways you know <laughs> people stupid <laughs> Like you can't just have it just sit on sideways next to the something like what? 
Yeah. But this is like these people, when they go places and they try to sneak certain substances and things. Mm -hmm. Why, you as a person who's traveling, why would you put your substance in your hand luggage? And you have a checked bag. Stupid. So y'all know they be walking around with the dogs to sniff y'all. So the machine, not even and, just and that. the it's machine, the fact that that you gotta the, put everything through the right machine. Right there, mm-hmm. you go through the machine. Your bags go through the machine. Like y'all people with these, like with the vape pens and the pens and stuff. Not the I ain't talking about the vape. Y'all know which ones I'm talking about. The fun pens, mm-hmm. right? Why would you put your pen in your hand luggage and then think you gonna run that pen through? Because first of all, you can't, you're not supposed to be smoking it in the airport anyway. So you're not technically allowed to smoke it till you get the check bag and leave. And pause on the play. If you do have a vape, because you know, I was a pro vapor at one time. You remember, mm-hmm. you have to bring the, va- it has to be on your person. Mm-hmm. And then when you're putting it through the machine, put it, it in the thing by itself. Mm-hmm. And still like, it has to be on your person. Can't be in a bag. Mm-hmm. None of that. So my thing was always in my pocket or in my book mm-hmm. bag. But y'all talking about the actual like THC pen. Are you dumb? I'm not going to tell you how to stash that, though. Don't worry about it. Don't keep listening and thinking I'm going to tell you how that, because I'm not. <laughs> they out there with their notepad like, wait, what? Nope, what happened? Nope, I don't want to listen. I, nope, nope. Y'all not nope. about to come get us roped up. Don't tell I'm nobody sorry. you heard I nothing over here. Nothing. I'm sorry. I know to get to my places with the things that I enjoy. I can't help you. <laughs> Figure it out. Do your Googles. Exactly. <laughs> Better get you a connect or a hookup. Yeah, that too. Oh. Don't look at research. Exactly. But, um... I don't know. What else we got on here? We have nothing else for Top Boat. It's episode 80. Whew. We lit. What? Yeah. It zero. Damn. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Step now. up in our life. Ew. Right. <laughs> right? I'm thinking, like, should we do something for 100? Like, something like what? That one should know. be like, that should be live or something. Oh, Why don't you do put that? out. Why don't you ask the peoples? Yeah. Do a question. What y'all doing think? Question and answer things right now. Oh my gosh. Right? Dog. Like, for the you've episode, seen... what should we do? I guess give option what? Like a video episode? I don't know. Something, something. You giving away something? You giving away? Probably an ashtray, ashtray or some shit. You could probably do that, you know. Right? Something. Yeah. One lucky listener can let me stop. Yeah, yeah. Do, no, do it. You swear, you swear you Jerry. <laughs> when we get closer, when we get to like episode ninety, I'll start, you know, yeah, get something better it. put together. Sweep you know. mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm calling it, right? Sweepstakes, pointless okay. socks, sweepstakes, <laughs> free gift. <laughs> Child. Free gift. Free gift. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, um, <laughs> oh no, I feel like I need to go eat dinner, even though it's late as hell. Um, oh nah, I have my dinner waiting on me right now. See, my dinner is gonna be quick because this waiting air fryer is my friend. Mm, <laughs> waiting on me. I've been eating what is it? Um, chicken nuggets, tenders, whatever the hell they are. But like, I've been making sauces like honey buffalo, oh, honey. Bu- out of me. So you eating chicken tenders now? I mean, I'm eating chicken on the bone. Oh snap! We switched. <laughs> <laughs> Grow up! <laughs> like I used to do me. Grow up! I used to be over here enjoying first of my all nuggets and my little tenders. Grow up! First oh, of all, first of all, I, <laughs> I like them shits because I gotta worry about a damn bone and take. Yeah, out you just this get straight to it. That. Just give me some sauce. But look at your ass now, dipping, dipping, right? All I'm dipping saying like is, yeah. I did not purchase this bag of nuggets, and tenders, whatever the hell they are. But I am indulging because they are delicious, especially with my homemade sauces. So if you don't purchase, who purchased them? Oh, from the food drive. Oh, okay. Yeah, because the food drive, listen, I still ha- I have a whole chicken in my freezer. What am I doing with this whole chicken? You're going to make it or no? Like, I'm stressed thinking about it. I live alone. Maybe that's true. <laughs> Who's eating this fucking chicken? Y'all want a chicken? Bitch, Shit. I this bitch over here eating tenders now. I should tell me to grow up. <laughs> Man, <laughs> yo. Okay. <laughs> it's all love don't do that oh my god mm-hmm. i really want to know where these tenders There's came two from places though. that can definitely get my money for the tenders every time and that's zaxby's mm-hmm. for one and bbq's for two. Yes. yes yes i was talking about bbq's over sticky, the weekend what is, it? what is it is it the sticky wings is it sticky wings Woo! Mm-hmm. BBQs, I'm coming soon. BTW. Oh my goodness. Wait, that's next week. 
Kuya. Kuya. Oh, over the Himalayas. Kuya. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's why you trying to do um hair and things. Kuya. Uh, yeah, I gotta look like something. I gotta go to my brother festivities. So. Oh my god. You so know plain time, here we go. Girl, so Child. Get me a mark what? A Texas style margarita. Amen. You gonna have to FaceTime me while you're at this um this, I try to this get cute, you try to get cute on trips for me. I drink petrol now. <laughs> I gave up tequila and all that type of stuff. Occasionally. <laughs> Listen, you got to FaceTime me one time while you're at the shindig. Oh, I because, am because it's gonna be a lot. I of know it's gonna be foolish. Yeah, mm-hmm. everybody coming. Hmm? Everybody coming. When I say everybody, I mean everybody. Oof! To be a yeah, fly on so the wall. So what date is this? Let me look at these tickets. Let me. Stop. <laughs> you know what? Not one more. You know I like watching fuck Not Creed. one more ticket with you. <laughs> Not one. <more>. You are nuts <laughs> because mm-mm, that's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of drinks that night. I know that. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be nice libations. One oh, thing I know, yeah. I love about y'all parents. You, I'm, they gonna I'm have, have to the liquor old... and the food on deck. What my parents? What the liquor? Yes, and the, food? the liquor yeah. and the food on deck. <sighs> Yeah, all are very welcome. In <laughs> abundance. In abundance. Yeah, so welcome. <laughs> yeah, it's about to be real cute. But he having it at somewhere, not even at the house. Oh, even better. Yeah, Carrying on. A little thing. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to be, listen, I need to be open. Bah! Your brother funny. Ain't fancy. Mm-hmm. He turned in five old though, so you know how that oh, big dog. That's why oh. you have a two pot. No wonder. No wonder. Mm-hmm. Bacchanal. Yeah. You know. I'll keep you tuned in. Yeah, please, please. Do hmm. all I siblings that I come? Who? <laughs> Let's not get crazy. Hold on. Let's not get crazy. The usual suspects. Whoever okay. in their hole don't need to come out their hole. Ooh. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> you going to make me go. Listen, I've been pee. <laughs> Let me tell you something. He did an evite, right? Oh, God. And mm-hmm. on the evite, you can see who's invited. Mm-hmm. And you know me. I need to Who all are going to be there? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I've seen some things. Like who confirm and really who deny? Think that you needed an invite, really, but here you are. So. <laughs> Oop. But it's good to know and and who to plan for. Yeah, to prepare yourself just in case, because mm-hmm. some people might not even respond to the invite and still show up. Because that's the thing. But people not, no, but not these people. They are gonna mm-hmm. show up to this. They not for cook. Them can't drink and them can't eat. No, I hear music. My and God, so, and so, mm-hmm. Yeah, they coming. Yeah, and sus is imperative because. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I'm, uh, like, I know, though. Mm. I'm gonna come back talking mad shit. I know. I already know. Like, he gonna be texting me. It's gonna be like, the topic is what the fuck is family? Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be the name of the episode. <laughs> what the fuck? Yes. <laughs> Mix up and blender. Yes. The blems. What time though? Good night, okay. people. What time though? <laughs> if you ask them something that you know how black people is, if you're asking that, that means it's time to go. You ain't got nothing to do after this. <laughs> I got my no, I'm and saying then, the typical outros for black people when they're like, you know, oh, I'm to do after to this. Say, I got me food to eat, and me, me and my woman want to watch um, we call it supermarket sweep. So- <laughs> What? I love y'all. I'm talking about I the love new y'all one. The new one I know. One What's her name? I know. Yeah, yeah. And actually, that shit is dope. So yeah, I think like I think you had food. me watch that one time. It's okay. interesting. Grab up on the titty, your thigh, something. Ah, oh, titties and thighs and rock grabbing. You know what? I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. So I'm gonna just pull it. Must be out. nice. Woo! You really be testing me, and I be like, <laughs> punch you straight through the screen sometimes. <laughs> like, wow. I would like to have a titty or a thigh to grab on tonight. Wow. Mm, so nice. everyone, it was so nice to come and speak about these issues with you all. And um, I pray that you all are being safe and you have a good night. Come on, Janae, take us to the outro. I'm not playing with you. Go ahead. Like, uh, Make sure you listen to us on all the streaming platforms. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Check out the unboxings, unmoldings, and episodes on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe, um, turn on your post notifications, and hit us up on the social medias. Um, Pointless Talks for Everything and Lion Young D on Twitter. Dem Sugar underscore on Instagram. And yeah, just like everything else, whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you so, so much for listening to this episode of Pointless Talks. Bye. Be safe.